hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion related to neural networks and uh, so far we have discussed about various uh, neural network models and uh, specifically we are discussing the supervised learning model okay the neural network models based on supervised learning based on the concept of feedback so we have discussed about uh, adlin madlin perceptron in this video we are going to discuss about uh, another very important neural network model which is the back propagation network okay back propagation neural network so as usual it is based on the supervised learning mechanism mechanism which is based on the concept of feedback the desired output where comparison takes place between the actual output and the desired output based on the error signal the change in the weights or structure of the neural network happens basically the weight change okay parameter changes okay the back propagation learning algorithm we can say it is one of the most important developments in the whole neural network thing why it is important we'll see so basically the back propagation network it is uh, applicable for multiple layer neural network model okay consisting of input layers multiple hidden layers output layer of course input and output they are compulsory but multiple hidden layers can also be applicable we will discuss a simple version of the back propagation network consisting of a single hidden layer and input and output layer and another important thing is that the activation function which is used in back propagation network it should be differentiable okay we can easily not easily but we can find the derivative of that function okay the derivative should not be equal to zero it's not or that it does not exist like that it should be differentiable so it can be sigmoidal function identity function whatever function it is it should be differentiable and the main objective of the back propagation algorithm is to achieve a balance between memorization and generalization of the data now we all know that the basic objective of a neural network is three things learning generalization application learning means being exposed to new data new stimulus new environment new surroundings then the neural network when it is exposed to a new environment it tries to adapt to adjust to the changing environment then it forms pattern okay clusters of uh, the data which is provided to it forms groups and then when new data is applied to it it tries to use the past information the past knowledge the past experience on the basis of the generalization of the data and on the basis of that past knowledge and experience the new data which is given to it it tries to give us an improved output okay an improved output with higher efficiency application so these are the three important things learning generalization and memorization and application so the main objective of back, back propagation algorithm is to strike a balance between the three process the three steps so the basic architecture of uh, the back propagation algorithm simple one we'll discuss is that consisting of an input layer consisting of all the input neurons in one level in one layer then one hidden layer although it can consist of multiple hidden layers but for simplicity of our discussion we'll consider only one hidden layer and then the output layer okay so x1 x2 xi up to xn n input neurons and in input layer z1 z2 zj zp p hidden neurons in the hidden layer and then y1 y2 yk and ym m output neurons in the output layer 
then we have we have the target values for each corresponding final output okay so all the neurons they are connected through weighted connections and another important thing to notice here is that only the hidden layer neurons and the output layer neurons they have bias values constant bias values equal to one associated with their own weights with weight, weight values and the output of this network it could either be in binary form or bipolar form that is zero or one minus one or plus one so this whole training process of this uh, neural network on the basis of the back propagation algorithm it involves three steps first feed forward of input basically it means the input is applied to the the input neurons then from that it gets transferred to the hidden layer and then to the output and then we get the final output this is basically the feed forward of input that's that is the first important step next is back propagation of error so this is a new concept very interesting concept where on the basis of this difference signal the error signal between the final output and the target value the error is transferred back from the output to the hidden and then from the hidden to the input level the input level neurons so that the output can be uh, the accuracy of the output can be improved so that it approaches close to the target value so this the traveling back of the error signal from the output to hidden and then from hidden to input level neurons that is called as the back propagation of error and then on the basis of that back propagation suitable calculations are done and the weight updation takes place so this is the whole concept this is the theoretical thing now the mathematical expressions so step one feed forward of input transfer of input from the input to hidden hidden to output so the net input to each hidden neuron basically it is the sum of the bias values and the product of the input signals and the weight connections v it involves all v weights okay here as, as per this diagram so it is the bias value connecting that neuron plus the summation of all the input signals multiplied with their weight values okay in between the input layer and the hidden layer so here the general term we have taken is any neuron input neuron xi connected with hidden neuron zj is this Z in J, the net input to the jth hidden neuron is the bias value connecting to that jth neuron, okay, V0, J, plus the sum of all the input signals connecting with the synaptic weights associated with that Zj neuron. So, see, there are multiple weighted connections to this single hidden neuron, so it is a general expression. So, this is the net input to the hidden neuron. Next, the output of that hidden neuron which is based on its activation function which is differentiable of course of course it is an important thing in back propagation algorithm the final out the output of that hidden neuron is the activation function applied to the net input now the net input to each of the output neuron here we are considering a general output neuron yk again the sum of the bias values and the product of the hidden neuron signals multiplied with their weight values for all the connections so it is like this the net input to the kth output neuron let's say yk here we are considering this general output neuron is the bias values connecting with that neuron here it is all w it is all denoted as w w weights in between the hidden layer and the output layer so it is w01 whatever the weights it is connected to that bias value plus the product of the hidden signals the hidden neuron signals and the weight connections okay there are multiple connections so it is that again the output the final output for that neuron is the activation function applied over the net input to the output neuron this 
ओके ना दिस इज स्टेप वन फीड फॉरवर्ड ऑफ इनपुट ट्रांसफर ऑफ इनपुट फ्रॉम द इनपुट टू हिडन टू आउटपुट फाइनल आउटपुट वी गॉट नाउ द फाइनल आउटपुट इज कंपेयर्ड विथ टारगेट वैल्यूज टी वन टी टू टी के अप टू टी एम एज देर आर एम आउटपुट न्यूरोन्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट द एरर सिग्नल इज कैलकुलेटेड एंड द एरर करेक्शन टर्म इज कंप्यूटेड is calculated and is given by tk minus yk the error correction term tk minus yk the difference the differentiation of this final output function for that neuron the activation function the differentiation the differentiable activation function so here for this calculation of the error correction term this the derivative of the output function is required and that's why the important characteristic feature of the back propagation uh, network is that it should consist of differentiable activation function if it is not differentiable then the error correction term cannot be calculated so that's why it is very important to have differentiable activation functions so here the error correction term for the output neuron the particular kth output neuron is calculated as delta k for this kth output neuron is calculated as delta k the difference between the output new the output signal and the target value then the first derivative of the output okay the first derivative of the output so it has to be a differentiable activation function then this concept where each hidden neuron sums the delta inputs from the output neuron okay the propagation of the error signal from the output neuron back to the hidden layer neurons through the same weighted connection paths this is a very important and interesting concept which is the essence of the back propagation algorithm the error signals they travel back from the corresponding output neurons to the hidden layer neurons through all these weighted connections so this back propagation of error based on the error correction term it is given as this where for a particular hidden neuron j let's say zj here all the error signals that travel back from the output neurons to this is given by delta k wjk summation for k equals to 1 to m where the error signals from all the m output neurons they travel back to the hidden neuron so this happens for all the hidden layer neurons to each of these hidden layer neurons the error signals they travel back from all of these output neurons through the same weighted connection paths so this reverse propagation reverse travel of signals back from the output to the hidden this is called as back propagation which is very important and interesting when it comes to the back propagation algorithm so the net error input for the jth neuron hidden layer neuron is given by this mathematical expression and again on the basis of this the error correction term is again calculated for the jth hidden layer neuron which is the net input the error input delta nj then the first derivative of the net input to the hidden layer neuron which is z nj f dash z nj okay this the output of the hidden layer so that's why it is very important that all the activation functions associated with the neurons in the back propagation network should have differentiable activation functions so two error correction terms are calculated delta j and delta k which are very important when it comes to the weight updation now the change in weights and bias for the connections between the hidden and the output layer that is all the w weights between the hidden and output layer they are changed as follows here the w weight change 
delta w j k is given by the change in weight is given by delta uh, alpha delta k z j where alpha is called as the learning rate constant which is a constant value positive value and uh, again the error correction term delta k and z j which is the output of the particular hidden layer neuron okay this and the bias signal values associated with that it is given by alpha delta k okay the bias values for the output layer okay only alpha delta k so here it is very important to know the error correction term delta k it becomes very important with w weight change okay between output and hidden layer then the weight change between the input and the hidden layer the v weight change okay all the v weights they are changed as this the change in weight between the input and the hidden layer is given by alpha delta j xi so here the error term delta j comes into play which is this so here it is on the basis of delta j so it is alpha delta j xi where alpha again learning rate constant positive constant value delta j which is this error correction term and xi is the particular input from the ith neuron xi and the bias values they are changed as alpha delta j okay the bias values this bias values associated with each of the hidden layer neurons it is changed as alpha delta j so this is for the input uh, this is for the hidden and output layer weights and this is for the input and hidden layer weights so this is all about the back propagation algorithm okay so the important concept here is first the transfer of inputs from the input layer to the hidden layer from the hidden layer to the output layer on the basis of the net input calculation applying the activation function then the comparison of the final output with the target value error calculation the error correction term determination okay the error correction term which is the essence of the back propagation algorithm then the traveling back of the error signals from the output to the hidden from hidden to input which forms the basis of the weight change the error correction terms delta k and delta j so this is the basic principle of the training process in back propagation neural networks so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day. Thank you very much.